right, it's time for another locker room report. And, Coach, one of the big factors we talked about before last week's game was your depth. And not only did the depth have something to do with the heat out there, but the depth, everybody got involved in a 69-24 victory. You know, that's what you enjoy where everybody can get a chance to play. We had a young man who wasn't on our travel team get 15 reps, and that's, that's a great thing. A guy can watch himself on tape. He can um, evaluate himself, and young guys can make improvements. Coach, we, we talked about last season uh, setting a record for most points in a season, but uh, you started out great. I mean, set a Wayne State Warrior record with 69 points in, in that first game. And it's so odd when you, when you look back, it was 7-7 after the first quarter. <laughs> I know, and we were actually down 7 nothing at one point, and we fumbled the ball in the next drive. So uh, you never know what's going to happen. You just keep playing, you keep grinding, and, and you, you fight it out. And, and see what happens. We made some big plays and, and got some easy points. Well, it's interesting talking to you. You felt that the team didn't play the best that they could. And I know a lot of people are saying, you know, 69-24 victory. Uh, but I'm sure, uh, being the coach that you are, there were probably some teachable moments, some coachable moments to take out of that game? I think on every phase there were coachable moments. I think in the kicking game we had a pump block. You know, you never want to have that. Um, defensively, we gave up two huge plays. And I think our defense, that's... That, that, that should never happen. And offensively, I didn't think we were able to run the ball consistently, and, and we have to be able to do that to win consistently. In a game like that, it's so important to keep hydrating, to keep the fluids up and everything. I know some guys uh, came out of the game uh, cramping and whatnot, but the health of the football team heading into this weekend's game against Tiffin? I think we're pretty good. You know, the, the heat was, was a big factor, and, and we had some guys that struggled a little bit. But... Um, from, from a health standpoint, we should have everyone ready to go. Let's look ahead to Tiffin, and, and Warrior fans might recall, speaking of offensive explosions, you went down there last year and just had a, a quarter to remember, to say the very least, but this is a, a different year, a different team. They've got themselves a pretty talented quarterback who passed for over 300 yards in the first game. What can we expect from Tiffin? Well, I think they're a better team um, than they've been in the past because they – they seem to be sound in what they do. They run the, kind of a Texas Tech offense, and, and that's an offense, you know, that, that puts points on the board. So, so they're obviously a threat from an offensive standpoint with a quarterback transfer from Iowa State. Um, defensively, they play a very similar defense to, to uh, what Urbana played last week uh, as far as the scheme, but they play a little bit more conservatively with their defensive backs, so they're less likely to give up a big pass. So the Warriors take on Tiffin. Hope to see everybody at the stadium. Hey, Coach Winners, always a pleasure. Best of luck in game number two. Thanks, Sean.